Okay, it's an exciting day today. I uh, finally got my uh, Cam Park action camera. Now, this is certainly not a GoPro, that's for sure. It is a step up for me. It has electronic image stabilization. It certainly cannot touch the GoPro 7 or the GoPro 8. But for me, it's a step up. And you've seen my videos, so, you know, I don't need to spend $400 on a camera that I just basically use as a toy. I have other toys I pay plenty for. If I'm going to read, I've got to put on my spectaculars. There we go. Here's the camera. Man, it is small. It's got a remote control, comes in a waterproof case that, that comes off. Surprise, your experience matters. I don't hear that very often. I like it already, whatever. So we've got all kinds of stuff here. It's all great. Look at this little thing. Ain't it a honey? Not only do you have the GoPro mount on the bottom, but you've got a standard one quarter inch threaded on there so you can just stick it on any tripod. That's a real good plus. So I can't wait to break this thing out and use it. In low light situations, the small sensor struggles, as you can see, as do all action cameras. No surprises there. Good enough. Inside the car, I had to enhance the video in post-production for these images. Again, it's good enough. The camera also has slow motion built into it, much better than doing it post-production. I prefer shooting in 1080p. Here's regular time at 1080p. Here's one half time at 1080p. Here's one quarter time at 720p and it shoots one eighth time at 320p, which I'll never use because it's just too pixel. But the real excitement is the time-lapse feature. Just look, I cannot wait to take this to the island this summertime.